This video contains disturbing and violent content. Viewer discretion advised. Return to Castle Wolfenstein is a first-person shooter game made by id. It was released back in November of 2001 on PC, Xbox and PlayStation 2. The game stars BJ Blazkowicz, who is sent to investigate rumours surrounding one of Henrich Himmler's personal projects, the SS Paranormal Division. The game received positive reactions and was also cited as the best multiplayer for its time. So here's my top 5 reasons why I enjoyed Return to Castle Wolfenstein. The missions. Missions in Return to Castle Wolfenstein are great. It's not the same repetitive style gameplay all the time. Some will require you to eliminate certain enemies while others have you sneaking around not setting off an alarm. The game certainly has its fair share of difficult missions in later levels and it can be tough even on the easiest settings. The game is split into a combination of action, stealth and horror. Some parts will feel like 007 where you plant explosives and sneak around certain areas to other times where you cautiously peek around every corner in fear for zombies and knights that stalk them. Luckily the game does offer checkpoints but they won't give you a full health and armour refill on doing so, so it needs to be played perfectly. Controls. If you're going to have a first person shooter game, you're going to need responsive controls and it's here it doesn't let up. While there is no aim down the sights on basic weapons, the only ones being the snipers, all you really had to do was align your target in the crosshair and fire, it was that easy. While the basic control scheme for novice players can be off-putting first time around, it can feel awkward at times, especially when the button for aiming down the sights in most first person shooter games is now the jump button. There is a kick move also available which can be activated at any time and is useful for kicking open secret walls, doors and even inflict damage on enemies. The Locales Return to Gauss Wolfenstein takes place in lots of different areas. At the start of the game you are placed in the marketplace of northern Egypt so you will get the bright and cream style colours along with the cultural textures and expensive ornaments. When you get to the crypts and tombs here is where you start seeing some impressive atmosphere because you treat everything as if it's a trap. Enemies can appear out of nowhere and the excellent music really puts you on edge. You then venture to Castle Wolfenstein itself and it's really well done how dark, damp and eerie the castle can be. It's that well done you can almost feel the cold air blasting through the doors and windows. Other areas include a forest complete with rich greens and trees to the futuristic interiors of the X-Labs, a hideous scientific area for dark experiments. Each area in the game is handled really well and I've got to give them props for that. Great work. The guns. Return to Castle Wolfenstein has a wide range of guns on offer here. The melee weapon you have is a basic knife, useful for stealth killing guards. You'll start off with the Luger, Sunlight Pistol, then the MP40, Stand Submachine Gun, Thompson and Shotgun, Sniper Rifles like the Morza and Snooper. But near the end of the game you'll get the powerhouses like Flamethrower, Venom Gun, Panzer Force and Tesla Cannon. Admittedly, the sounds in the gun department do sound a bit lacking, and for how creative the guns are, you'd think they would have some sort of excellent sound design to impress players. Nevertheless, it's one of these rare games that really didn't focus on realism, and allowed the player to somehow carry all of these guns and ammo at the same time. Treasure and Secrets Throughout each level, the game offers you the chance to find secret areas. These in turn reward you with either treasure, health packs, or ammo. At the end of each level, if you manage to find all the secrets in the level, the game will give you a special reward such as a flak jacket or new gun. It's far better challenge than most other first person shooter games and what's more, once you reach the end of the level, you don't have to leave it just yet. If you wanted to go back and find all those secrets, you're more than welcome to do just that. The other great thing about this game is, once you beat the main campaign, the original Wolfenstein can be played directly from the menu, so if you've never played the original Wolfenstein or are itching to play old school style, this is your chance. Thank you. 